Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Happy 2020 to everybody. Uh, hopefully 2020 is going to be good for this guy. Uh, technically I'm officially retired. Out of the gun business. Uh, out of the cabinet business. Out of business, period. So uh, hopefully uh, I'll get to take a little time off now. I don't know if that's going to be a permanent thing. Uh, or whether I'm going to do something part time down the road. But I... I'm going to definitely take some time off, guys. Uh, hopefully the beer reviews will continue, depending on what is sent to me. Uh, we shall see. So, it may come to a time, like I told you earlier, where there won't be one posted every day, depending on what I get. So, it is what it is. It's been a long, uh, fun ride. Uh, I never anticipated uh, doing them this long, uh, or... or whatever and with all the wonderful beers that are sent to me by the breweries and, and subscribers uh, you guys are awesome uh, this beer is from Farai Brewing Company out in San Diego California uh, Brian and Krista send me these beers now uh, and I do appreciate everything they sent me a four, uh, four beers two of them I have already rev reviewed recently and two of them I have not so we're gonna re we're gonna review the ones that I have not the two that they sent me that I reviewed uh, recently, I'm not going to re-review them, guys. So, uh, uh, I still appreciate uh, Brian and Krista and Pariah Brewing sending me the wonderful beers. And these guys know how to make a beer, and they know how to package it, and they give you tons of information. That's what I like about these guys at Pariah. Uh, they tell you the hops, the malts, the J, the ABV, the IBU. They tell you everything. And that's the way I think. All the breweries should do it, but they don't. So it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, this is their uh, only 90s kids will get this IPA. And it's technically not an IPA. This is an 8.2 percenter, so it's a double IPA. Uh, and they have this, uh, the hops are Citra and Apollo, and the malts are two-row oats, wheat, and dextrose. Uh, the IBUs are 42, and the date on the bottom is 12-20 of 2019. So this beer is very, very fresh to today, guys. Uh, uh, this is only a couple of weeks old, uh, not even that. I'm reviewing this on the 27th of December, uh, but it won't post until January. Uh, so, again... Thanks to everyone uh, that have sent me beers and uh, continue to send me beers, whether it's a subscriber or a brewery, I do appreciate it. Uh, that lets me continue, guys. Uh, uh, we shall see how much longer that continues. Uh, uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. Beer Advocate doesn't even have this particular one listed. I could not find it on Beer Advocate, so probably a new beer that they've just released. So, let's get into it. Big 16-ounce can, uh, heat shrunk uh, label on it. Uh, they haven't spent a lot of money on printing up a bunch of fancy artwork cans with their... They're going to recycle or throw away. So, saves us money. Saves them money. Very cloudy, very hazy. Oh, yeah. That, that warms my heart when I pour beer out in it, and it's a New England style beer because that is one of my favorites, guys. About a finger of head, looks like a glass of orange juice there. Wow. Looks outstanding to me. I'm sure it will be, guys. Looks pretty tasty there. Looks real, real tasty. That looks like a glass of orange juice. Absolutely perfect color. 
nice and cloudy. Mm, mm, mm. Looks awesome. Let's get it to the nose. Wow. The hops are off the chain, guys. Pine, grapefruit, tropical fruit notes, oranges and mango, maybe even a hint of some stone fruit. That smells outstanding, guys. I bet it tastes that way, too. Let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brian and Krista. Thank you both. Happy New Year. Oh, wow. That is absolutely delicious, guys. Let me read to you from Untapped. The commercial description says, Taking the base of our refill material IPA, I have reviewed that, and jacking it up to a double IPA levels can only mean one thing. More hops. We kept Sister as the star of this liquid sitcom and then added some Apollo, which is kind of a sleeper hop, but we did, but we def, def dig it, dig on it. I guess that's definitely dig on it. We get round lush notes of orange, creamsicle, papaya, fruit, striped gum, and ruby red grapefruit in Congress with our gentle bitterness and soft mouthfeel. <sighs> Outstanding. Aroma is off the chain, guys. Taste is absolutely fabulous. And I am super impressed by what they are doing there. And I am super impressed again by the information these guys put on their packaging. With the hops and malts and the ABV and the IBUs and the canned on date. Everything. Everything. I wish all breweries did this. I, d I mean, it's, this, is, this is how it should be done. Period. 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 Give us all that information. Why is it a secret? So, guys, I am pleasantly surprised when I get a beer in my package from Pariah. Because I know it's going to be a tasty beer. And we're going to get all that information on the package. So you didn't got to go look here, look there. It's all right here. You don't have to have a smartphone or a computer or any of that crap. You know what you're getting when you pick it up off the shop. So, well done. Brian and Krista, y'all do it right. No doubt about it. Well, guys, I'm going to sip on this. It's right out of the fridge. And we'll come back and give it a grade. I'm impressed, as I always am, from these guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while now. Awesome lacing is left on the glass. Awesome lacing and beer in the glass. Uh, these guys do it right. I've said that over and over and over and over and over and over again. Everything, malts, hops, date, IBUs, ABB, all that's on the can. You don't have to look up nothing. It's there. Everybody that is in the craft beer industry ought to be doing what these guys do. Uh, and I am very partial to uh, what they produce and how they package it. Uh, it's awesome, guys. It is awesome. And this beer is also awesome to me. Aroma is off the chain. A very, very tasty double IPA. So, uh, I would buy this beer very regularly if I could get my hands on it. So I'm very appreciative to Brian and Krista for sending me their beers. They do outstanding work, guys. You need to pick it up if you can get your hands on it. You won't be disappointed. I am. I never am. Final joke. Delicious. Alcohol is hidden. I mean, for an 8.2%, very, very well done beer. I would buy this beer. I would buy it. I would buy it. I would buy it. That's the biggest recommendation that I can give you on a beer, no matter what the grade is. If I tell you I would spend my money on it, you should spend your money on it too. Especially if you like this style of beer. If you don't, don't buy it. 
but if you are a hop head and you like a very well done New England style double IPA, this is right there. This, is, this compares to Treehouse and Trillium and a lot of other breweries that produce a style of beer. And these guys are not in New England, they're in California. So a lot of breweries uh, across the United States and other parts of the world are producing these beers. And uh, a lot of them are doing it very well, very, very well. So, uh, I'm going, to get, I'm going to get the grade on this one, uh, not because it was sent to me and I didn't pay anything for it, but because of what I am smelling and what I am tasting, it is outstanding, guys. It is a 10 beer to me, and uh, I would buy it. So with that being said, uh, I could not find it on uh, Beer Advocate, but Untapped has it listed, and they have it at 4.1%. I think it's much better than that. Uh, evidently, these guys that are commenting bought the wrong beer, evidently. I mean, if this is not an impressive beer to you, you have bought the wrong beer. You're, you don't like the style. You don't like something about this beer. I do. This is something that I, you would see very regularly in my fridge if I could get it here. So, <clears throat> once again, Brian and Krista, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much for sending it to me. You guys do these beers very well and you package it exceptionally well. So, all the information we need. Guys, if you've had this one, only 90s kids will get this. Uh, you need to pick it up. So, uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Like I said, it's a 10 beer to me, guys. Uh, uh, everything is on it that you need to know. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.